Hi, I'm Mike Idle. And I'm Tyler Kramer. And, and this, this is Cooking, Cooking During, During the Great Depression. Depression. Uh, we're going to be giving you a little backstory before we start off with our recipe today. Uh, during the Great Depression, people were advised to buy their food with, with thought, cook it with care, serve just enough, save what, the, what uh, they needed, and then eat what will spoil, and then homegrown is always best. Food disguises were popular in the 1930s, including pigs in a blanket, mushrooms made out of cream cheese, and bunny salad made from a canned pear half. Chicken Devon casserole, cherries jubilee, sweet potato marshmallow surprises, black bottom pie were a very popular thing during the 1930s as well. People cooking during the Great Depression substituted a lot of ingredients. They didn't follow recipes exactly and they only used what they had on hand such as using syrups, instead of sugars and substituting uh, other ingredients just to make up. Many Great Depression recipes included World War I uh, eggless, milkless, butterless cake, molasses candy, Washington pudding, scalloped corn, meatloaf, watermelon rind preserves as well. Uh, for our recipe today, we'll give you a little background about it. Uh, in the 19th century, American Pioneers, short on supplies of fresh apples, came up with an innovation, innovative way to make their favorite pie without apples. Their secret soda crackers. Americans thought, though disappointed with the lack of apples, became so enthralled with an easy and quick to make pie that tasted very much like the original that the recipe became a public success. In 1935, a new company that was invented, uh, Ritz, tried to get in on this fame and they introduced a recipe that called for their crackers mainly, but it can also be used with other kinds of crackers, but we're going to be using Ritz style crackers today. And ever since, the recipe has become a classic. The ingredients needed for the Ritz mock apple pie are two cups of sugar, two tablespoons or teaspoons of cream of tartar, two tablespoons of lemon juice, one pie crust, one packet or 36 crackers. Uh, Ritz crackers or any substitution will work fine. Two tablespoons of any butter or margarine, whatever whatever you prefer and a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Mix two cups of sugar and two teaspoons of cream of tartar. in a medium saucepan. Add one and three-fourths cup gradually. And stir on high heat. How much of it to stir it? Bring to a boil on high heat. <laughs> oh man, I hope it's not all stuck to it. Let's simmer on low heat for five minutes. Stir in lemon juice. Two tablespoons. Let cool for 30 minutes. Place 36 coarsely, coarsely crumbled <laughs> crackers into pie. Pour 
sugar and cream of tartar with lemon syrup over top. One and a half cups is about what it should be. And kind of try to mix it or get it an even coat so that way you get all the moisture in there. Top with butter, as you can see, um, with cinnamon. About a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and two tablespoons of butter. Place the remaining dough over the pie and seal it and flute the edges. Make sure you poke some holes in it too so that it doesn't explode. And now you have your finished pie ready for the oven at 425 degrees for a half hour.